So more than 5,000 elderly Kenyans are to share a payout from the British government worth almost £20 million. The Foreign Secretary, William Hague, told MPs that the government sincerely regrets the torture and ill-treatment carried out by the colonial administration in putting down the Mau Mau rebellion in the 1950s. But he said no precedent had been set for claims from other British colonies. This report by our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, contains some images you may find distressing. Faced with an uprising in colonial Kenya, the British simply did what they'd done before in Africa. Attack Africans who want their own land back, round up those responsible in concentration camps, torture them, abuse them, and in many cases, murder them. 26 Mau Mau suspects, each wearing an identification number board, are kept under guard before their trial for the recent Lari massacre. At the time, of course, the media were co-opted to support all this as a war against terrorism. Kenya police bring the biggest prize of the anti-terrorist campaign, Daydan Kimathi. Without Kimathi, Mau Mau's days are numbered. 60 years on, and many of the victims have died before seeing victory in this long legal fight for compensation. But it is a typically British fudge. Pay them off, but don't whatever you do say sorry or accept liability. The British government recognises that Kenyans were subject to torture and other forms of ill treatment at the hands of the colonial administration. The British government sincerely regrets that these abuses took place and that they marred Kenya's progress towards independence. Torture and ill treatment are abhorrent violations of human dignity which we unreservedly condemn. So they're singing in the aisles today in a Nairobi hotel where the victims gathered. A £20 million payout, it's around £3,000 each. We had 5,228 people who the British government have accepted were tortured or seriously abused by the colonial regime, which is a heck of a lot of people uh, in terms of responsibility for the British. So for the fact that they are prepared to compensate them, give the apology that we've just heard by Mr Haig in the Commons today, uh, is a really historic moment and I, my clients would be absolutely over the moon. Except, of course, there was no apology and the lawyers trousered £6 million of the £20 million payout in legal fees. More than two generations on from these scenes, it's been a very long wait. And for some, the payout nowhere near matches the pain. Enough. It can't be enough. We were detained for 10 years. I was detained for seven years with my father, who raised me. So the issue of around £3,000 is far from the amount that I should have been paid, or my father, or anyone else who was there during the fight. And though over 5,000 victims will be paid, at least another 8,000 have had nothing. There are other cases that uh, are not covered by this settlement, notwithstanding that the government and the Foreign and Commonwealth Office has been made well aware of them, uh, and proceedings are ongoing in the High Court. So there are still um, a large number of Kenyans whose cases are not resolved by this settlement, which is unfortunate. Could be these cases too may come up against the Foreign Office, which claims to understand the excesses of the British Empire, yet fought this case every inch of the way.